All right, we are headed now to Nyayo House where the PS uh, Ministry of Interior Ambassador Julius B. Tok is now currently taking over from uh, PS Kibicho. Uh, let's take a look. We must take a look, and that is our guiding principle going forward. My main focus will be on three areas. First is uh, transforming immigration. I think uh, immigration makes or breaks countries. If you look at countries which have moved, which have grown, which have developed, is they could their immigration right. My preliminary thinking is that we can transform immigration into a service, as I said before. I say that because uh, if you look at NIS, for example, when it used to be the police are special branch, there were terrible things happening. Nyai House is known for some of those things. Uh, the other house there called what? Nyati is known for those things. But when it was transformed into a, a service, then there was a lot of efficiency, there was a lot of, a lot of focus on service delivery, and the service is really very big so well. So I think uh, my beginning, my preliminary thinking is, why do we make immigration, which is also a security sector, a service that can be more responsive to the needs of, of Kenyans? The second area, which is also very critical, is the uh, digitization of government services. As you are aware, we are coordinating e-citizen services. Right now, we have about 300 services which are digitized, or rather which are online. Kenyans can, can access about 300 services which are online. And because we have this uh, coordination of e-citizen in this uh, state department, I promise that we are going to digitize as many as possible. Our target is 5,000 services to begin with. We need to digitize at least 5,000 services. And it is possible. If we make it people driven, we remove the bottlenecks, then we are able to achieve that. The other third very important uh, issue I'll be focusing on uh, is on this uh, Uduma number. We need to get back to it and see where did we get it wrong. Why was it there a lot of negative publicity about it? I'm thinking that uh, we need to rebrand it probably into a smart ID that is more acceptable to the people. We need to find out what were some of the challenges because this smart